Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fine. And so as you know, we have been creating this male character in Maya. So in the last video, we have created uh, the head part and joined it with the torso. If you haven't seen the previous videos, please check the playlist. I think the eye button above. So you get the entire playlist for the creation of the clothes, arms, hands and the head as well. Okay. So moving on to the eyelashes and the eyebrows. So let's jump in. Welcome back friends. This is Fraser from Art Studio. We'll be selecting the edge loops which are from inside, okay? So the edge loops from here till here. This is what we selected. We'll go into modify and go into convert. Since we want to convert this edge into a curve, so we'll look for poly edge to curve, okay? So we'll go into this option and we'll just tightly hit poly edge to curve. So that will create a curve from this edge, okay? Okay, so with the modify convert, we have converted this edge to curve. If we isolate the curve, we can see the curve. And if you turn on the control vertices, we can see the control vertices of this curve, right? So it's just following the edge over there. So coming next to uh, smoothing up this curve and making the control vertices uniform, we we'll just uh, select this curve and go into the curves menu. And the curves menu will go into rebuild which is the second last option, open the option box and over here if you want to make any changes if you want to just see over here with the reset on if the uniform is on, we want to keep it uniform you want to keep the ends, so we'll leave it there and just the number we want to increase to let's say 12 so we'll keep that as 12 if you want to keep the original, you can keep the original and a copy will be created so I just want to update this, so I'll hit rebuild so as soon as you hit rebuild, you will see it turns white that means the rebuild is done so all the vertices are now uniformly placed over here, okay? We'll duplicate this, right? So with the control D, we'll just duplicate and if you don't find the gizmo with W, uh, you can just find it on the grid because it's now on the grid. So with the center pivot, you can bring it to the center of this curve. And since we duplicated it, so we'll just uh, align it now properly to find the, create the upper part of the eyelash. So we know that this part is towards the eye, so we'll just rotate it this way. We just rotate it this way and then pull it little upward. Okay. Checking from the front view, we can just scale it to get this shape, or if you want, you can just use the control vertex and just edit the edges over here. Okay. So let's do some edits over here and make it wider over here. If you want to make it uh, rounder, you can make it rounder using the control vertex. So for now, let's say from front view, it looks fine. Let's check the rest of the views. Okay, you'll find that these vertices are going in, so just pull them out a bit. Okay, now one thing is important bearing in mind that uh, eyelashes are not going to be coming till here, okay, or reaching till here. So it will be um, reaching till this part okay, somewhere here. So we will not need the mesh over there. So if you want, you can delete the vertices from this part as well. Okay, so let's say we can delete a couple of vertices from here. Same we will do. Delete a couple from here. Okay. So once you're happy with this shape, okay. So with these two curves, uh, the basic adjustments done. Let's create the mesh. So for the mesh, one to surfaces find. Uh, the loft option which is on the top open the option box let's reset the settings so you get something like this if you're using for the first time what we need over here is instead of creating nerves or surfaces we want to create polygons so we need the polygon as soon as we select polygon this drop down opens and under this drop down we want to change this to uh, instead of triangle types we want to keep the type to parts right for the lateral for self we want a particular number of Faces, okay, polygons. So for this example, 30 will be a good number for the count. Give that and hit count. So once you do that, we get the mesh as you can see. Okay, we got mesh. And uh, so you can try with the smooth on. And you can smooth the mesh as well. Okay, so with the smooth on and with the smooth of the mesh on, we can actually see how this looks. So now if you want to do any further tweaking, you can always do with the curve okay let's say this is gone in so you can select this curve and 
select the control vertex and slightly let's say with the soft selection on we can just bring it out slightly ever so slightly if you want now uh, the last but not the least the most important part of here is once you got and edited along with anything you wanted to edit with the curve and you're happy with that final thing is select the edge and the reason why you need this is to get the bend of the curve over here okay so you can see now we got a nice bend of curve and just push this back in. so that will create a nice uh, depth over here so pretty good so as you can see we have achieved this eyelash very simply for the male for the female you can make it a little bigger like a little more point here if you want to make narrow you can do that so that's the whole process uh, very simple create the curves properly edit the curves uh, portion it once we duplicate it and then next simply create the mesh like if you want to adjust any further before deleting the history you can always take this vertex and do the further adjustments once you finally have it just delete the history and delete these curves so don't delete the curves before deleting the history. First delete the history and then delete the curve. I have an existing uh, dark black kind of material just to show you. Let's uh, bring it to the other side and just duplicate this and uh, scale to minus one and do that. So that's one way of flipping anything to the other side using scale minus one and then the face transform. Okay. The other way is uh, you know that we can go into uh, with selecting this we can go into the mirror option right and mirror it and uh, merge border we can just don't merge border because we don't want to merge any border although it's pretty far far apart so it's not merging but keep it don't merge because in this case we don't need to merge rest it will be word and x negative the difference between mirroring and just flipping it with the scale is that with flipping it with the scale it is still remains as a separate object okay these two remain as separate mesh as you've seen in the previous tutorial uh, but keeping this together is better because if you want to make any adjustments further or if you want to do create the expressions or all uh, this will be easier while using the symmetry here so yeah so we can easily make any adjustments with the symmetry here. so friends i uh, hope you enjoyed this part next moving on to the eyebrows okay so for eyebrows we use a similar method uh, so basically we need an edge over here uh, because the eyebrow will be in between okay, these two edges so it will be somewhere along these faces right so we need one edge over here so turn on the smooth corner and let's just add one edge over here let's check let's move on it's defining this part a little better that's all right so if you want you can just slightly adjust coming to the eyebrow we need this edge right so let's turn on of the symmetry for now we need this edge so eyebrow will run till here so there are various ways we can create the eyebrows okay uh, one way i have showed you in the previous tutorial by creating a polygon over here flat disk kind of pentagon and then uh, ext selecting the faces facing this word selecting this curve and extruding it to get the shape another way of creating a polygon would be using sweep mesh okay uh, so i think if you don't know about the sweep mesh thing i'll be showing you how to uh, use sweep mesh uh, with this example right so that we can use it further for creating hair and all so uh, very simply you can go to create with the curve selected right so for the sweep mesh obviously you need a curve first so we can select this edge and with this edge selected we go to modify convert all the edges to curve okay so once we've done that we get this curve so if you want you can smoothen it out Okay, we can just uh, reshape it a bit. So 
So once you got the curve down, simply uh, for using sweep mesh, go to create and that create, you get the sweep mesh option. Okay. So you open this box and uh, just keep as add this and apply close. Immediately, the sweep mesh uh, toolbox will open up and you get something like this. Don't worry about it. Basically, this uh, default setting is giving us this. So what we need to do is first reduce the scale. Okay. So once we reduce the scale, uh, we find that we have got something like a cylinder. Okay. Cylindrical shape running uh, across this curve. Okay. So now in order to get it smooth, increase the precision. Okay. So if you just select this, go to sweep mesh once more. And you can see how increasing the precision is increasing the poly count. So the divisions are okay, right? So this looks good enough. Now if you want to change the shape, okay, instead of taking it like sin, we can go and change it this uh, option over here so with the polygon selected now it's giving you it's eight sides okay so let's reduce it to five okay. so that will give you something like this okay. if you want to make it to six it will give you something like this so based on your style you can just increase it in this now if you want to want a rectangular if you want to create something like this with hard edges Okay, treat it like this as well. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me. Next step, what I'll do is I will uh, taper it a bit. So broader over here and narrow. So you can play with this and check like what suits your style. Okay, now uh, for this part, like the caps are open over here, right? So we can just turn on these caps to close it off and uh, corner segments you can change with this as I was showing you you can make this smooth or you can keep it hard I just keep this hard and the width you can broaden it up you can flatten it out with this so I just flatten it slightly so it's a male I do I'll keep it broad so what we can do is over here since the tapering is not working in the correct direction over here okay it's working but it's not giving you the right result uh, we can use this tapering curve okay so we can use this value and uh, we can adjust it with the curve or we can use the value to get this result what we are looking for so see we can taper it along completely we can just leave this part short taper it only the ends Play with this tapering and then you can adjust this. Now, if you are happy with this tapering, you can just play with the width and the height. Okay. So, if you want to just scale it out, okay. scale it up a little bit, make it a little thicker, wider. So, as you can see, it's falling properly on this. So, so I'll use this option, okay, rectangular, and just uh, segment corner if like it's two. If I want to keep it one like this so i leave it like this so that uh, the polygon is not that high and also i can turn these two parts okay I can turn these two parts once i'm happy with this so let's say i'm happy with this i'll just uh, I, if i delete this key i'll lose control over this okay so i'll just leave it for now and uh, rest of the tweak adjustments i'll just do it manually Now I'll just isolate this and uh, just clean up the end ones over here. The same thing with here. Okay. So over here you get a lot of option for variation. But if you use the first method which is taking a cylinder and then extruding it with the edge selected then you will not get much variation while uh, creating it okay so let's have on with this let's turn the smooth preview if this thickness is good enough for you then the length good 
If you want to make it thicker, you can always do that. Let's see the detail screen. Okay, let's check the this move on. It's perfect. So I just apply the existing shader for the eyelash which I have kept. Just save the file. Just to delete this transform and uh, pivot in the center already. And I'll just mirror it. Okay, so we have the mirror option. Maybe on the shelf or you can go to the mesh option. Use the mirror option from there. Same thing, X negative, it's leading towards negative, world, and uh, merge borders. We keep own merge borders, we don't want too much. Rest we keep it as it is, the POVs. So for the neutral, always keep the eyebrows straight. While doing the expression, obviously it will move up, down, and uh, based on the various expressions. The eyebrows will be in different positions and different shapes. So that's all. Uh, further, if you want to make an adjustment, turn on the symmetry. Turn on the symmetry and with the soft selection on, with the object mode on, you can just, if you want to just lift it up a little bit. Or if you want to make it a little rounded, you can do that also. Check from the sides. So happy to do the screen. This edge is going to control it while uh, rigging. We have come to the end of this eyelash and eyebrow tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to create the hair for this character in various unique new ways and easy ways in Maya. Thanks for watching. So see you then. Bye bye. Take care.